Hey everyone, in this video we're gonna have a look on how we can hide template class implementation. In the previous video we had implemented this class stack which is an abstract data type and it has several functions and their definition is visible in this header file which is necessary for template instantiation. So in this video we're gonna learn how we can hide implementation of these functions such as this constructor and this is push and pop and pick. So we're gonna hide these implementations inside another source file which is stack.cpp that we have created in the previous video. So if you haven't watched that video then you can find the link in the description or you can also click on the top right corner of your screen. So this is the implementation which is uh, visible in every translation unit where we will include this header file. Okay so currently we have included uh, this is stack.h in main.cpp like this okay and in this translation unit everything is visible its definition okay but we don't want this definition to be visible okay so let's do it so first of all I'm gonna copy all the content of this header file into its source file which is stack.cpp So let's go into stack.h header file. Now we have to remove the implementation details from this header file. So let's do that. So we, ju we just have to leave these declarations. Okay. So let's hide the implementation. Oops, sorry. Okay. We need to also hide the implementation details of this. And one thing more is that we can't hide these uh, private data members because data members are required to predict the size of this object. Okay. Because uh, whenever we're going to allocate the memory, let's say this is the object which is going to allocate it onto the stack memory. Okay. So the internal data members of this class must be visible inside this translation unit so that the compiler will be able to calculate the size uh, of the object and it will allocate the memory accordingly into the stack okay actually we can also hide these uh, data members but if we are just working with pointers and references then it would be possible otherwise if we are working with just the entire object like we want to allocate uh, this uh, object onto some kind of memory like heap then we must have this um, data mem members visible inside that translation unit okay so let's go into this stack.cpp and we have to remove this pragma bonds because we never include source file into another source file okay now we need to get rid of this and this stack this is outside class implementation oops sorry so let's copy this and we will just paste okay now and the other thing that we should note is that the template okay since uh, these all these functions uh, belong to a template class so we must supply the template uh, parameter okay so let's do that template type name t okay so let's copy this we have to also identify Uh, there is a shortcut I'm gonna use that this way uh, I 
am pressing alt plus control and it would depend on your id what you use currently i am using atom okay now let's add this template type name okay now other thing that we need to do is uh, pass the template argument okay so the template argument that we are passing is exactly what here we have declared okay so this is the placeholder the same thing we are passing okay so this is still a template there is no instantiation uh, till now okay so keep in mind that uh, I'm pressing Control D to do it collectively. Now the implementation of this uh, stack class is in this source file, which is stack.cpp, and this is not visible in this header file, and eventually this translation unit, which is main.cpp. Okay. Now. Uh, since there is no instantiation in this stack.cpp file but uh, main.cpp uh, translation tries to instantiate uh, stack int now what will happen is that this declarations would get instantiated but their definition won't which will result in undefined reference errors which is a linker error okay if we compile these two source file which is main.cpp which will result in one translation unit and stack.cpp which will result in the second translation unit we have to compile these source files separately and link them together okay in the linking stage we will get an error uh, the error would say is that the definition of these stack constructor get data get count get capacity all these are not visible I mean not resolved undefined reference okay so let's see these first we're gonna compile these two source files separately and if you haven't watched the video of compiling multiple source files then you can check the link in the description otherwise you can click on the top right corner so let's compile it um, I'm gonna include the include directory which is the current directory and compile it main.cpp output main.o okay so we have successfully compiled this main.cpp file now we're gonna compile oops uh, stack dot cpp to stack dot o oops yeah got it got it so we haven't included the declaration of the class and its interface so let's now save all and let's compile again redeclaration may not have default okay got it got it so let's remove this save all again okay now we need to link those together so if i will list the object files now you can see that we have two object files which is main.o and stack.o so let's link those together main.o and stack.o then main.exe file now you can see that we have undefined reference errors okay so because there is no instantiation of the definitions of these functions okay so now the next step is to instantiate explicit template instances okay so in the instantiation we are using int version so we need to instantiate the class for the int version okay so let's do it which is this okay now let's save this now let's recompile it now link it
now let's run it now you can see that it is working as it was working in the previous video so this is pretty much for this video i will meet you in the next video thank you very much